Hi folks, this is Beginning Algebra, Take Home Assignment 5. We're given an equation and asked to solve for C. So the first thing we notice is that we have a lot of denominators here. And so if we follow with what we usually do, we're going to multiply by something to wipe out all the, the denominators. So I would need to multiply by A to wipe out this denominator. I need to multiply by B to wipe out that denominator. I need to multiply by C to wipe that out. So the least common multiple there is ABC. So I'm going to multiply both sides by ABC. On the left-hand side, I can think of this as ABC over 1. I can cancel the 1 out. I'm left with BC. On the right-hand side, I need to use my distributive property. And now I can think of these as fractions. A, B, C over 1. Cancel out the B. I got A times C times 1. That's A, C plus. Cancel this out. I have A times B times 1. That's A, B. So now I have a, or, uh, B, C equals A, C plus A, B. The highest power of uh, C here is C to the first power. I'm asked to solve for C. So I'm going to get all the C on one side and everything else on the other. So I'm going to subtract AC from both sides. So I get BC minus AC equals AB. And this is the stuff where I think most people had difficulty. Normally, if in an equation, we would then combine like terms and divide by the coefficient of C. But combining like terms really comes from the distributive property. And I can take this C, which is common to both factors, and use the distributive property to factor it out. So the coefficient of C is B minus A. Then I divide both sides by that coefficient, and I get C is equal to AB over B minus C. And it's a very good exercise to substitute this in to the original equation for C and check. It'll, it'll make sure you know how to do fractions and all that other good stuff really well. That'll do it for Take Home 5.